Hi gin lovers, I'm Emma from The Little Gin Company. I'm really sad that we can't be with you at Cowley Carnival in person this year, but we want to bring some carnival spirit to the weekend and I'm going to show you how to make a, a cocktail, a nice gin cocktail that can hopefully get you into the carnival spirit during these uncertain times. Um, so The Little Gin Company, as well as having our mobile gin bars, we also make our very own range of trailer made gins. So no surprises, one of our gins is going to feature in the cocktail I'm showing you how to make. So it, we're going to use our elderflower gin uh, to make a sparkling summer punch, which is um, a really delicious cocktail. It's easy to make and even easier to drink. So to give this a go at home, you need elderflower gin or a nice London dry gin, uh, elderflower cordial, uh, cloudy apple juice, um, some soda, a lime to squeeze for juice, and I've got a lime garnish, but any fruit garnish you've got to hand will work. So to start with, we're going to take our gin, do a nice double measure of gin. The great thing about making cocktails at home is that you can do nice home pour measures, so don't worry about being too specific on that. So I've just poured that there into the shaker, which has got some ice in it. We will pop in the cloudy apple juice next. So about a double and a half again, so 75 ml of apple juice. Goes in there. Squeeze in the lime juice. We'll go for a whole, a whole lime because it gives it a real nice uh, balance to the sweetness. And a little drizzle of elderflower cordial. This part is going to add some more sweetness to the cocktail, so if you've got a sweet tooth, go for it, but not so much, maybe hold back on the elderflower. So I'm going to give that a little shake. Don't worry if you haven't got a cocktail shaker at home. If you just put all the ingredients into a glass with ice, just give it a really good stir. That will do the same thing. Get it nice and cold and mixed. Pop that into our glass with ice. And then... This is where we just add our little soda top. And finish with a little garnish. So a nice alternative to the soda, if you want a little extra boozy kick to the cocktail, is to pour in the dry Prosecco top instead of the soda. That works really well. Um, and for anybody wanting a non-alcoholic version, all of that mix of ingredients without the gin works really nicely or you could substitute the gin for um, a non-alcoholic alternative, something like sea lip citrus would work really nicely with this mix of cocktails. Um, if you do want to give it a go with any of our gins, you can buy all the trailer made gins on our website, and hopefully that's inspired you to give it a go this weekend. I'm going to enjoy my cocktail now, I hope you enjoy yours. Thanks for watching.